ladies and gentlemen. It is with gratitude to God and with great feeling of fulfillment that I address this gathering today, having been the Chief of Defense Staff of the Armed Forces of Nigeria for five years, six months, and 13 days. Today is Today is therefore a great day of joy for me and my family, having had the real and unique privilege to have been in the military for 48 years and served the country as a military officer <laughs> and served the country as a military officer for 40 years, beginning as a young boy at the Nigerian military school and culminating in attaining the highest military rank of general and the chief of defense staff and forces of Nigeria. I owe a deep sense of gratitude to His Excellency, the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, strategic level and the modest contribution we have made in containing the various security threats confronting our dear country and threatening the security and corporate existence of our nation. Confronting these threats have been the major preoccupation of our armed forces throughout my tenure as the Chief of Defense Staff. We all could recall that the, at the exception of the current administration of President Muhammad Buhari, the Boko Haram terrorist group held sway in parts of northeast Nigeria, where the SEC occupied 20 out of 26 local government areas in Borno State. Our immediate challenge on assumption of office was to flush out the Boko Haram and restore Nigerian sovereignty over these occupied territories, gratefully with the support of the political leadership, and indeed all Nigerians, the armed forces of Nigeria under my leadership was able to reclaim all territories that were there under the control of the Boko Haram. <laughs> While the terrorism and insurgency by the Boko Haram remain a security issue the country is grappling with, the armed forces is equally engaged in assisting the government in addressing other security issues in line with our constitutional roles. It gladdens my heart that the incoming Chief of Defense Staff is very familiar with these security challenges, having previously served as Theater Commander Operation Lafayette Adole, Commander Multinational Joint Task Force, and above all, the immediate past Chief of Training and Operation at the Defense Headquarters. This couldn't have been a better choice of a seasoned senior officer who will hit the ground running as the chief of defense staff. I must state that while the armed forces of Nigeria, under my leadership, grappled with some operational and logistic challenges, the defense headquarters had made some modest achievements aimed at improving operational capacity, logistics, and welfare needs of officers and men serving in defense headquarters. In terms of organization, some directorate of the DHQ were upgraded to departments to make them more impactful. Some of these are the former directorate of military, civil military affairs, which have been upgraded to a department to scale up our non-kinetic operation. Similarly, Directorate of Transformation and Innovation and Directorate of Finance and Account were upgraded to departments. We equally upgraded research and development to Defense Research and Development Bureau to optimize opportunities inherent in research and development through collaboration with similar institutions locally and abroad. This initiative has led to the local production of some of our defense needs, including the main ready to eat, air boots, the prototype of an improvised explosive device detector with extended range, and local production of high hair radio in collaboration with SATCOM of Nine Media. 
Realizing the potency of special forces in tackling asymmetric threat, the defense headquarters had developed special forces capacity, capability with the establishment of defense headquarters special forces brigade. Personnel of the defense headquarters special forces are selected from the three services and continually undergo specialized training both in Nigeria and abroad. These special forces troops have proven to be very effective when deployed to counter asymmetric threat that require precise and targeted operation. In addition to building operational capacity, enormous resources have been committed to infrastructure development. A new Defense Headquarters Special Force Barrack has been completed in BIDA. The Defense Space Administration and Defense Research and Development Bureau have had, both have very befitting office complex. Attention was also given to residential accommodation for personnel of Defense Headquarters. I want to once again appreciate the President Commander-in-Chief for Mr. President's commitment to providing the operational and welfare need of the armed forces. As earlier stated, the major commitment of the armed forces in Nigeria under my stewardship had been in internal security operations. The armed forces also have a rather reduced commitment in peacekeeping. All these are not new to the incoming Chief of Defense Staff, as he has been part of all our operational efforts. As the incoming Chief of Defense Staff is already aware, we have continued to review our strategy to address the changing nature of the adversaries and security threats, making intelligent gathering a premium input to our operational plans. We have also built and contributed to develop our joint operation capability in all our operations in the country. Despite the challenges and limitations in the platforms, our joint operation capability had has had appreciable improvement. I want to especially commend and appreciate the untiring effort of the immediate past service chiefs who work round the clock for the past five and a half years. I must say that I feel very proud to have led, directed, and coordinated all our collective efforts. In order to have a focused and unified approach to addressing our national security issues, the Armed Forces of Nigeria, under my watch, has built strong synergy with the nation's security and intelligence agencies. I want to, at this juncture, especially appreciate the leadership of these agencies for their commitment and passion and the many long hours of deliberation and brainstorming session on our national security issues. I want to encourage the incoming Chief of Defense Staff to continue to review our strategy, strengthen the existing joint operation effort, and build the existing synergy with other law enforcement agencies. I am confident that General Rabo will lead the Armed Forces of Nigeria to build on what we have been able to achieve in the past five and a half years and take the armed forces of Nigeria to much greater heights. On a final note, I wish to acknowledge and appreciate the support and commitment of all officers and soldiers, ratings, airmen, airwomen of defense soldiers for your untiring efforts. The much we have achieved would not have been possible without the collective effort of each and every one of you. I urge you to continue to give your best to ensure that, the, that Nigeria remains one peaceful, indivisible country. I further encourage you to continue to support the effort of the government, the chief of defense staff, and the service chiefs towards addressing the mirrors of security challenges threatening our nation. Once again, I wish to sincerely appreciate the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Muhammad Buhari, for the privilege of serving as the Chief of Defense Staff and the unprecedented support and encouragement during my tenure. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Leo Irabo, I congratulate you on your appointment 
and wish you a very successful journey. Thank you and God bless you all. Force commanders here present. I must also thank His Excellency, Mr. President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, for considering me fit for this appointment. I remain indebted to him and, of course, to everyone who has worked tirelessly to consider me fit for this appointment. One of them, of course, includes the former Chief of Defense Staff, who at various stages in his career in the Armed Forces of Nigeria was my commander. I recall that while serving as a commander, 53 Signal Brigade in Jos, he was the core commander Signals. And it's by the end of his contributions that the brigade at the time, who, that was overseeing the entire Northeast before the creation of 7th Division, the brigade was able to provide the communications requirement for Operation Lafia Dole. Indeed, at the time, it was Operation Zaman Lafia. And so that gave me an opportunity to understand the entire landscape of the Northeast. So, sir, I'd like to thank you once again for that great opportunity. I was equally privileged to serve under him here as area enunciated. I'd like to also thank you so very much for the time that we spent and all the counsel that you gave while serving as the Chief of Defense Training Operations. Gentlemen, the security landscape throughout the country is well known to us. I know that a whole lot of us that are here we have been part and parcel of the efforts to ensure that in conjunction with other security agencies, we are able to make the gains that we've made thus far. I'd like to also use this opportunity to thank you for the contributions you've made and looking forward to greater contributions from every one of you. Gentlemen, the mandate is clear from Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief. It remains unambiguous, and the service chiefs and I, after the briefing, we were in no doubt 
us to the enormous challenges that lie ahead of us. We, we, we will, in no time, take actions that will significantly add value to the security disposition across the country. Let me, on this note also, thank the Chief of Defense Staff and the former service chiefs for their various contributions throughout their tenure in office. It is by virtue of their leadership that the strides that were made were achieved. Let me, at this time, invite every Nigerian to please join efforts to support us and the members of the armed forces as well as other security agencies in ensuring that security return to every nook and cranny of our dear country. It is a joint responsibility and we will pledge your support. We will crave your support in ensuring that the demands are met. Let me once again appreciate His Excellency, Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief, for this great honor to be in this position to lead the armed forces of Nigeria. Gentlemen, officers, and men of the armed forces of Nigeria, I'd like to pledge right away that I'll give the right leadership to ensure that you have the ambience to be able to perform your task. Once again, thank you, and I wish you well. We shall be meeting from time to time, and we will get other details. Let me equally say that after now, the service chiefs will be meeting with me in my office for us to address a few issues. Once again, thank you, and God bless.
Thank you.